So our main focus is health and safety. Yeah. That is our number one priority. Here, this is a state-of-the-art place. We're the mm. biggest organization here in Australia, if not the world. And our number one goal is safety. Yeah. We want to make sure everything's tip-top. Anyone hurt? Not. Sweet. See? Safety is our number okay. one priority. Yeah, right. But yeah, someone will clean this up. So let's now go through the process from start to finish on how we created this animated short film. It all started with this free project that the Omniverse guys released and it kind of just started from here and then went on. So this is all real time. From here what we did is we jumped over to mocap and here we are using Access Studio by No Motion. Um, I used the Perception Neuron V3 mocap suit. It has been the bee's knees and I've been able to pump out animations so quick. Now what I've done is this is all raw data. I didn't clean up any of the animation from here, I jumped over into Character Creator 4, and I have no uh, desire to be a character artist. I can't stand it. It is just a workflow that, you know, <laughs> for, for the value that I get for this saves me so much time. Now, there is a link in the description if you want to check out uh, Character Creator 4 and iClone. Um, so click on that. But I mean, even with this, you know, I can change, I can come here, let's go full body and we can adjust his whole body with these sliders and I can make him a bit bigger. We can even go ahead, come into his head. I mean, we can do each little feature of his head, um, but we can kind of slowly change everything around. We've got a massive library of clothes that uh, I've been slowly acquiring. I mean, we can give him some denim shorts, you know, like, <laughs> But it is such a time saver, and I don't think people understand, especially if you're going to be creating animated short films. You, I don't want to be spending, you know, 200 hours on a minute short film just to create one or two characters. Um, at the moment, I've got a pretty. Every time I create an anim, every time I create a character, I save it to a library, and then I can just pull from that library. Um, with the second character you will notice that that one's Matt, my Matt Stoney character that I created a couple of videos ago. So with this, what I can do is go file, export, and send to iClone. So let's jump over into iClone 8, and I've already got both characters in here. I've already now imported the motion from the Perception Neuron V3 Access Studio onto these characters. And if I press play, simple. Simples. Um, with the facial animation, there is a video that'll be coming out about how I used a Q-Lips and the facial puppet. I will quickly show you. So if I select this character and we come into the here, let's go down into face puppet. Should be a window opening up somewhat. There it is. Uh, if I click Chuck, what I can do is I go preview. And if we can zoom in, I can press play and you can see how we can control the face. So if I don't want the head rotation, I can go preview again, and we're kind of controlling the whole face. Now, obviously, I maybe just want to control the eyebrows. Let's just remove everything and just have the eyebrows. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, and so this is how I went about and created the facial animation. Let's just quickly whip this one out, preview. There we go. And so we can kind of have blinking and so on and so forth. So we gave the face that little bit extra um, features as well. So now for the mouth, I used iClone 8 Q Lips. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful tool. Even though I did use facial motion capture, um, I find that it's still better to go through and do the lips manually. But that's the awesome tool that they have. So what I've done is I've got an audio clip 
assigned to this character. I can right click on it and go with Q-Lips. I'm just gonna press continue for now. And what we have here is the full audio wave file. So what I can do is go generate text and it's gonna work out what I'm saying. Um, and it's pretty good, it gets pretty accurate, but obviously it's designed a little bit for an American voice. So the Australian, you know, hey go mate, it struggles a little bit, but it's okay. So my process, and there's gonna be a video on Markham 3D on how I go through this from start to finish. Um, I will go through, fix up the language, and then what I do is kind of put it off into sections and then just realign that section and the face comes out quite well. So if we kind of scrub through, that's pretty good. Now, the best thing though, the, mm, the, <laughs> the best thing I can go file, export, USD format straight into Omniverse. So Omniverse works off a USD format, which was developed by Pixar and it's got a whole bunch more information in it compared to the FBX or the OBJ format. So if I wanted to come in and set up my camera angles in here, when I export as that USD file, that information will come across to Omniverse. So from here, let's jump into Omniverse. Omniverse, I don't know which way I pointed for that transition, but now we're in Omniverse and this is where a lot of the fun happened. Um, very big thank you to Omnivore for joining me on this part of the journey and really going through and showing me a lot. Um, a lot of this was done over on the Omniverse Discord um, where I was streaming quite a bit of the Omniverse process and it was good to have um, this collaboration with Omnivore David, um, which I'm very grateful for. So we actually worked on this project together to show the collaborative tool that Omniverse has. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly talk about just a few things that we ended up achieving. So the one thing is I believed we used an Amazon server, I'm not sure now, um, where all our files were saved into the one repository. And so if we kind of come into the content, it was really interesting on how Omniverse works. So I was pretty excited that we were able to do this. So both of us were able to work on the same project, the same file at the same time. Like, amazing. Um, so we have the main USD file, which is the master three in this case. However, we had the characters as a separate USD file. We had the scene as a separate USD file and we both imported them into the one main USD file and we kind of worked on that main. So if we come into the layers section and where are my layers? I updated Omniverse and it looks like it's merged all the layers into one. So let's go back and talk about it a little bit. For each layer, there was a separate USD file and kind of all that information fed into the master layer. So it's kind of like a hierarchy system in Photoshop. Now I'll go into more details around this in a separate video over on Markham 3D. So if you haven't already, go subscribe over there and that'll come through eventually. Now the one big thing is the sequencer. I ended up creating a whole bunch of ca um, cameras and then using pretty much like any video editing software, I just assigned the cameras to each of the locations. So I'll just click on this button to toggle use of blah, 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 blah. And this is obviously the previs. I don't need to have a full rendered view while I'm working the viewport because that'll be horrendous. Um, but this is kind of like how we put it together. And obviously because I haven't pressed play on the physics simulation, it's not going to um, do the physics simulation. Um, but let's do it anyway. And so you can kind of, we can see what the raw animation looks like. And so this is what we were working on together. It was really good uh, with Omnivore and I, because while I slept, he did this as a side project. And then when he slept, I was working on it. And then at the end of the night, we kind of, well, end of my night, <laughs> we came together and we kind of collaborated and um, fixed issues, so on and so forth. I am very happy with this, how this animation came together. Um, I really do look forward to using Omniverse a lot more. Uh, simulation kind of stuffed up there a little bit, but that's fine. 
Um, but all I know is that Omniverse is getting better and better. And it, it just it just looks gorgeous. Like I we barely did any work to it. And <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of the animated short. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Ha <laughs> ha